Hey folks, we're riding on this back road and we were looking for bats, but we have stumbled upon a troop of monkeys. Folks, look at these monkeys. How can you not love monkeys? Monkeys are funny until they throw their shit at you. And we're just on a back road. We, we were actually, like I said, looking for some bats hanging up in a dead tree somewhere over here. Oh, here, here you go. See them in the, in the bamboo right there? How's it coming out? No, they're in the bamboo about five, six feet up. Okay, hold right there, my friends. Let me see if I can zoom in on these monkeys. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, the monkeys. The monkeys took off, folks. These, these aren't tourist monkeys where they're used to tourists feeding them ice cream cones and stuff. These, these are just out in the wild. I don't think they're used to... Uh, there he goes. There he goes, one right there. They're not used to having any human contact. All right, folks, something interesting. Here's the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority Law Enforcement Department, home of explosives, narcotics, and patrol working dogs. There, wasn't it? All right, folks, we got a treat for you. We were just driving by up on this little road and we saw a sign that said, uh, Trailhead to Boaton Falls, B-O-T-O-N. And I did a quick Google search and, and we're just on the, we're on the road that dead ends at uh, what is it Dewey Medical Center and everything is closed down up there so we said you know what I did a quick Google search there was some guy who had some photos of Boaton Falls and so we all just voted that hey we're gonna roll so we're going to Boaton Falls we're right, coming up this hill it's the road that like I said that dead ends into uh, Dewey Medical Center and all that up there is closed right now or the medical college you're going to see this little blue sign that says trail entrance to boat boat and falls and that's where we're starting out i'm just going to give you a sampling of what the uh what the trail looks like according to this guy's blog post it's just a walk but he said it's a 20 minute downhill walk to the falls and obviously that means there's a 20 minute walk uphill back to get to your car kind of going on blind faith with this one gentleman's blog post had some photos there now he didn't say nothing about this big old log <laughs> that's a recent recent blockage yeah there's a recent problem right here I think we'll probably go around it going over, man. going over it let's do it yeah he took the easy path by going over it I thought we were just gonna walk over the top here, but a lot of bamboo. That wasn't too bad. So there you go folks even if uh, you can't climb over that big log obstructing the walkway there we just proved to you you can get around it it's no problem oh there's uh, another sign yep left. at least we're on the right path folks right there <laughs> it's faded out and it says 500 meters that's not bad at all Over or under? Yeah, I'm going under. under. They're like limbo. Hey, limbo. Yeah, so the gentleman was absolutely correct. I mean, now it's just a downhill slope down to the water, I assume. But just bear in mind that you got to come back up this hill. I used to explore the hillsides quite a bit there. Check this little, uh, somebody did a little rock stack. A little Blair Witch shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the beginning of a Blair Witch video. Some Blair Witch sticks in the trees and stuff down here. You've actually got pseudo steps coming down through here. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm glad we decided to uh, take this little trek. But I had that cooler beer. 
been much more exciting. Folks, little things like this. What, what was funny is when we were talking earlier about little things. There's so many little nooks and crannies like this that you don't know about. You know, unless a local tells you or you happen to come across it. And we were having that conversation about the upper mouth. And then I just saw that sign. And we all unanimously agreed to come check out the waterfalls. We'll step down there. Mm. All right, now the stairs have kind of given way to some roots. Yeah, kind of unsteady yeah, stepping. Step here for sure. Well, folks, you gotta check out this tree. It's doing a gangster lean, but it just makes it that much more beautiful. My goodness. Look at that. I mean, we were just looking at a historical military site, the Upper Mau. You know, when I'm hiking around here in the Philippines, I mean, hell, it's just a few days past December 8, 1941, when the Japanese started bombing the Philippines. Check out that video where I was just kind of having an informal conversation about how Clark Air Base, Clark Field was like the second Pearl Harbor. Got caught with our pants down over there just like we did at Pearl. And they destroyed most of our B-17s that were on the ground. But when I'm walking around these parts, and I'm sitting here sweating. I mean, I'm not even carrying a backpack right now. I'm just sitting here carrying the satchel with probably, I don't know, 10 kilos of camera gear. You know, we're sitting here sweating on this little 30 minute hike. Right now we're going downhill. On the way back we'll be hurting because we'll be going uphill, but the point of what I'm about to say is I just think back you know, to the soldiers, Marines, uh, sailors, everybody back during World War II that got caught in these parts. And, you know, we're, we're on SBMA, we're on Subic, but we're, we're north of the Bataan Peninsula, right? So a lot of people started out here. Fourth Marines started out here and everybody got pushed back to the Bataan Peninsula where you know a bunch of them eventually had to surrender on Bataan some of them who jumped over to Corregidor you know Corregidor held out a little bit longer than Bataan but when I'm walking through these conditions you know it's about the same time of the year now obviously weather patterns have changed you got me on that one but I just sit here and I kind of reflect and say, you know what? What were those Marines and those soldiers thinking and feeling? You know, no, probably carrying 100 pounds plus of shit on their back, damn rifle and ammunition. Some of them wounded, many of them sick from anything from malaria to. You know, I mean, you're in the jungle, right? You're living in the jungle. Getting shot at in the fucking jungle. You're getting injured in the jungle. You know, it's a, it's a harsh place. Especially if you're wounded and you're sick already. And all I'm doing is going on a leisurely hike down to these waterfalls. And due to being out of shape this year because of this run a horse shit and the world going fucking mad i'm out of shape i probably put on 15 kilos i'm sweating like a sweating like a hooker in church sitting on the front pew but i wonder about you know what they were going through back then about the same time of the year 79 years ago possibly walking on this same terrain that we're walking on right now how did they feel
had it pretty bad my friends I want to show you something in the jungle right any type of uh, heavy vegetation or the jungle like this woods whatever you want to call it I mean we're only spread out probably 50 meters but you can barely see each other I can hear my buddy out ahead of us I can see my buddy back there because he's wearing a white t-shirt this dense vegetation folks it's easy to get lost so if you come down here based on my suggestion go see go go see these off the beaten path falls you know make sure you have your cell phone charge make sure you got some water make sure you go with a partner make sure you know you know where you park your car leave yourself maybe some extra little scuff marks you know with your heel so you can track your way back out of here because if your ass gets lost in this environment ain't nobody over here but some monkeys <laughs> and this is so off the beaten path probably not many people come down here so be smart about it i'll admit we're not prepared we weren't planning on hiking the waterfalls only my our buddy uh Ferdinand's got some water. But we said, hell, it's only 20, 30 minutes, we'll survive, and then when we get out of here, it'll make that beer taste even better. Just thought I would reflect on our, everybody who's involved in World War II, on all sides, the hardships they went through because a few jackasses at the top making decisions fucks the rest of us. Isn't it funny how 2020 sort of done that to us? Now here's a little opening area. Bamboo, it's like a little circle. And the trail goes down that way, like to a hard left. You could easily walk this way. You could easily walk over here. But the, de the defined trail Cut to the left in this little circle. So I probably recommend if you have some trekking pants. That's beautiful up to you. You can have some trekking pants. Where are your trekking pants? Just so you keep the mosquitoes and the bugs off of you. You keep from getting your legs scratched up a little bit. Look at this, it's nice clear in here. It's the end of the trail, man. End of the trail, brother? I think we got to go down the rocks to get to the waterfall, unless the waterfall's back here. Where you been? That's a good question. <laughs> Have we That's passed it, question. or are we not on it yet? Good question. All right, plus, what we're thinking is we uh, we passed the falls. We come down here, and the trail dead ended, but we're just here at the creek. So what we think is when I showed you that circle up there, maybe that was the top of the falls because we came down a, a huge drop in elevation to get down here. So we're thinking maybe we should have went uh, went off of one of those trails off of that, that last little circle type area and that we just, we just came way down too far. I don't know. But right here in this opening, the trail just kind of played out. There's like two big uh, bamboo sh thickets here. Crops of bamboo, whatever you want to call it. What's well, beautiful little mountain stream? Something living down in that hole, guarantee that. The old pipeline come out here. <laughs> Drag you back down in that fucking hole. This is a big hole though. Called, uh, it's an edible fern. Yeah, fern. But this is the actual name of it. Um, right, what do you call it here in the uh, Philippines? Philippines is called pako. Pako? Yeah, pako. This a uh, kind of uh, firm of in the no in the another country. This but it's the okay, it's the this one this this one the no the main 
What the cost? What the cost? The root. The root. The main root. Ah, in case it this one, only the ano sir the came from the the tree or the the perm. Only that. Just, uh, just, uh, just only the fresh, uh, fresh leaves. Can you eat this one? Okay, I want to. I want to take that home to my Filipino wife because I'm sure she'll probably eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Even me, I can eat this one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Right, folks, I hear gallon no. food. The one young, but the the old one, this one, no more now. This is uh, it's not good taste. I don't know. It's like a little doorway through the bamboo. Yeah, we got steps. How much? Twenty pesos. That trail, the trail is over to the right, but I want to take a look from here. Oh yeah, folks. I think we're in. Wow, beautiful. Steps over here, man. Yeah, so you guys saw the steps going down here, folks. So we're going down to the pool. Okay, I'm going to take a look right here and see if I can look off the top of this thing first. I hope I'm not panning. I hope I'm not panning the camera too quickly. I'm shooting on this big Sony camera, which is not an action cam. So right here is the top. It's the top looking off. I'm gonna head on down to the pool. All right, folks. So what is? We're here. Now, what is the technical difficulty of you getting to these falls? Well, it's not too difficult. It's a hell of a lot easier than climbing a Mystery Mountain over there, Aquilia Oak Mountain in San Cedro. <clears throat> hell of a lot easier. But what's the difficulty level? Uh, if, you, if you're disabled or you're older, it's going to be a little bit difficult unless you bring two, you know, two young local guys strapping dudes to help you down. Then you can make it. Difficulty level. I mean, you got to judge for yourself. But I mean, look at going down these steps. So use your own judgment. But I would say definitely bring at least two local local young gentlemen to help you bring you a backpack with some water wear some long pants if you've got some uh, hiking shoes like Merrill's wear those because this is a little trek even though it says a walk a little bit more of a trek to it than just walking down here all right just pause Give you a look. All right, so these falls behind me. What's the name of these falls? 
Uh, Botan. Welcome to Botan Falls, folks, here on SBMA. Well, let me give you the grid. 51 Papa Tango Sierra 10766 35655. Now, I'm reading that right off of my iPhone, so if it's a little off, it's a little off. Elevation uh, 73 meters. And that should get you here. You know, I hate when uh, people post all these blog posts and this and that, and they never give it a damn location, you know. I mean, yeah, it's an adventure getting there. It was more of an adventure because we did get lost, but for everybody else who's just trying to come straight here and take the pictures, uh, there's your grid, and I'll plot it on a map on my blog post. The link down is down in the description. There you go, my friends. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It was worth the trip. You know, folks, little spots like this. You no, know, you just want to come down here with a metal detector, scuba tanks, and see if uh, Yamashita's gold is bed buried behind that uh, that waterfall right there. You know, people here in the Philippines still believe there's gold buried all over, all over these mountains and these hills from World War II. But, uh, I mean, hell, just curiosity, I'd like to have a metal detector and go down there and just dive around. Maybe I'd find some coins or something. But Yamashita's gold could be behind that, that waterfall right there. My goodness. Let me zoom in and see if I can see it. I don't see nothing shimmering or glimmering. Nothing but water. Maybe it's right under there. Somebody take a close look. Is there any hidden doors behind that waterfall? I don't know. Maybe this will get me a show on the History Channel. Okay, now look. Here's the thing, folks. This is a reverse mountain climb. You're basically on cruise control. Coming down here, you're gonna get tired and sweaty, but guess what? Now it's time to climb the mountain, so it's kind of a mountain climb in reverse. You know, I don't wanna to lie to you or paint a picture that it's just 100% easy. Yeah. Right here takes you to the top, and over to the left of that oak tree takes you down. All right, my buddy said to show you the bamboo doorway. Look, you got this bamboo fence here. This is what threw us off. It's really like a bamboo fence. And you gotta, when you come to this circular area, come into this little bamboo doorway. And don't go. Don't go the way we did down that runoff. It looks like a clear trail, but it's runoff. When you get to that circle area, and you hear that water, you're on it. You probably seen no Joe going up. See, you what? I'm glad I didn't hump that big ass tripod. Oh my God. Great tripod. That thing's heavy as hell. And they're taking a little break. But uh, instead of me taking a break, I just elected to slow my roll. But keep moving. That's what I decided to do. I like to, I like to relax. Drink my beer when the job's over. I got something to celebrate. Oh my god, look at some red horses. I don't even like red horse. I don't even like red horse. But if those two motherfuckers were cold and they were full, I'd be drinking one of them red horses. There's more steps going here. Look at this tree. Somebody's got a mark on it. There's this wall. It's built into it. What the hell does it say? Sarah? Something. 
We shouldn't be putting graffiti on our trees, folks. Just keep rolling on. Keep pushing. All right, so I'm back to the tangle web of vines. The vines have just taken over these steps. At least I know I'm in the right direction. Oh, my heart must be meat must be beating. Shit, 120. <laughs> One year. One year in prison. Pretty much what we've all done over here. Drinking whatever cheap ass beer I could get my hands on. <laughs> Fucking 15 kilos of extra weight at least I'm carrying up these fucking hills. That's 30 pounds It might sound like a lot, but listen Next time you go to the grocery store Buy three bags Buy three 10 pound bags of potatoes And when you get home You try to carry all three of them bags of potatoes in at the same time And tell me if that ain't a lot of extra weight to be carrying around. Whew. My mind tells me I can do all this stuff. But these three 10 pound sacks of potatoes around the old midsection is telling me you can't do that. You can't do that, motherfucker. What about these taters? You gotta carry these fucking taters. I don't wanna carry them fucking taters. Ah, fuck. I gotta get my ass back to Thailand where I'm eating right, running every day, going to fucking Muay Thai. I think if I stay over here with this diet, drinking this cheap ass beer like I do, I'm just shaving probably 20 years off my life. I gotta get back into fighting shape. You know what? My legs and my back are trying to tell me what to do. They're trying to tell me to slow down or take a break. No, motherfuckers. My legs and my back ain't gonna fucking tell me when to stop. I'm gonna tell my back and my legs when we gonna stop. Oh, fuck. Keep rolling. All right, this time right here, I mark it. It's uh, was it 51 Papa Tango Sierra, 10346, 35673. Is that sign right there? If this so much is right, if it's right. All right, so let me walk out of here. There's also, I think straight ahead is what's called Buddy's Trail. If you don't take that left turn at that sign I just showed you, you're gonna be on Buddy's Trail. Okay? So make sure you look for that blue sign. When you come off this road, and on this app that I'm on, there's actually a Botan Falls jump off point. And then you get on the trail, it's Botan Falls Trail. Okay, but after this thing here, you'll be coming this way. Up there at that sign, you got to take a left. You got to take a left. If you keep going straight, that puts you on Buddy's Trail. Okay? Alright, here's your log. This time I'm going over this thing, I'm not going around it. Oh shit. Okay. Get a good grip on that bitch. Alright, folks. My battery's about to go dead. My big camera. It has been an absolute champion all day. We filmed the all the upper mile video. And I filmed this whole time on the one battery that it comes with. Alright, now I'm back out here at the car. 
I want to say thanks for joining me on this video. If you're not a subscriber on my channel, hit that overstay road sign. Get on board my train. Food, beer, visas, bad behavior, mountain climbing, mountain climbing, and whatever I feel like doing, folks. I got to take a break and then I got to go back and find my buddies because I just had to get on up here. I had to get on up here before I just got too lazy to get up the hill. I'll give them a second. I'll go back and get them. Look at that ass tree right there. All right, folks. I'm out. Peace out.